as Mark does more than just send one man to prison. Our Charles Siegro has the details. We are happy, Ken, Ken, rest in peace. Yep. Outside a Toronto courtroom, the family of Ken Mark rejoices at the news that the man who killed their beloved son, brother and uncle was found guilty of first degree murder. We want to see the criminal justice system finally work on Kenneth's behalf. Mark spoke out to police in 2008, accusing Skeet and his brother of trying to kill him. A year later, he was dead. Mark was shot once in the back of the head as he walked down Gilmore Avenue. It happened just days after the initial charges against Skeet and his brother were dropped. Skeet was sentenced to life with no chance of parole for 25 years. After an eight-week trial, the jury sided with the Crown. Toronto police say the verdict is the first step towards breaking the so-called code of silence. Because it shows that we won't rest, that people are going to think that they can intimidate and uh, seek retributions against those who would cooperate with the administration of justice. So when you don't come forward with information, when you don't assist in a prosecution, the family who's been victimized gets re-victimized. It's a cause Toronto teen Nicholas Murharaj is already committed to. The Crime Stoppers advocate says coming forward when you witness a crime is just the right thing to do. If you're trying to make Watch out. our city, like my city and your city, a safer place to be, I don't think anything is called snitching. I think it's called making a difference. That Mark may be gone, but his family says his message, strength, will not be forgotten. I am not a victim, therefore I do not need to be rescued. Lamar Skeet will be sentenced April 17th. Charles Siagro, CBC News, Toronto.